Hey guys! In this video, we will explore the 20 best pixel art strategy games that not only impress with their retro graphics, but also offer deep and engaging gameplay. From classic city building simulators to tactical strategies, these games demonstrate that pixel art can still inspire and captivate players. The first game is World Box combination of sandbox and god simulator in pixel art style, where we attempt to create our own world. This process is presented in an engaging format, and the map editor allows you to create incredible universes that you can share with the community. By the way, you can personally destroy your creation. The developers have included a variety of events for this, from acid rains with deadly diseases to alien invasions. As a bonus, you can also play as a giant titan. Microtown. This is a pixel city building strategy with elements of micromanagement. While the gameplay is classic, gather resources, build structures, and turn a small village into a bustling city, the game is highly engaging thanks to the excellent animation of the inhabitants and pleasant graphics. Here, you're tasked with building your own settlement using various buildings and watching how tiny pixel people live in it. Nine-Bit Armies, a retro strategy game with a single-player campaign, destructible environments, construction, a large number of units, and mod support. The game features two story campaigns with 30 missions, cooperative and competitive multiplayer, as well as full mod support, allowing players to create maps, units, game modes, and their own scenarios. Tooth and Tail, in this game, you'll create an army of various animals, toxic skunks, flamethrower-wielding boars, rat leaders, and more. Like other games, it includes the ability to construct buildings. You can fight solo against AI or team up with other players in multiplayer. The main strength of the game is that it appeals to both casual and hardcore strategy fans. The challenge lies in devising the right strategy to develop your army and move forward. Mindustry, a pixelated tower defense strategy game where players will spend most of their time defending their structures. And that's not all. Instead of the usual fantasy setting, it features an industrial era. Players will create conveyor chains for producing materials and supplying ammunition. There is also a PvP mode where you can challenge other players. Heroes Hour, this is a role-playing strategy game that invites us to explore the in-game world, build cities, and develop hero skills. These activities are carried out in a turn-based format, while the combat is implemented in real-time and is sure to please with its dynamic nature. The developer of this game was inspired by the Heroes of Might and Magic series. Heroes Hour expands on this familiar concept while introducing innovations in the battles. The game also allows you to create your own mods, draw new units, and much more. Gladiator Guild Manager. This is a strategy game where you manage a gladiator's guild in a fantasy world, hiring and training fighters, then sending them into battle against various creatures. The developers have provided a wide range of gameplay tactics, numerous combinations of fighters' abilities, and complex battles. Space Haven. A space simulator where the main task is to create a comfortable and functional base. The player must assemble a crew and set off to conquer the vast, danger-filled expanses of the universe. Building a ship that has everything needed for normal existence, or even a large space station, involves forming an ecosystem and considering the crew's needs. The ship customization mechanics are especially enjoyable. This game is inspired by Dwarf Fortress, but with more user-friendly controls and simplified mechanics. After building a city, you can establish trade relations with neighbors or wage war on them, organizing a formidable army and controlling its units on the battlefield. In addition, you must manage your residents and oversee your domains on a micro level. 
Once your city grows to thousands of inhabitants, you'll need to pay attention to intriguing aristocracy, inflation, supply lines, and alliances. In the Escapist series, players take on the role of prisoners who need to escape by any means necessary. You must be extremely cautious, study the behavior and schedules of the guards, explore the locations, find various tools and equipment, and plan your escape, even tattooing the plan on your back. The second part supports a cooperative mode, so you can play with friends. See Blip. An enthralling pirate adventure game where players command their own crew, explore a vast open world, and carve out their legacy on the high seas. The game offers a dynamic blend of gameplay elements, allowing players to engage in aggressive bounty hunts or opt for peaceful journeys filled with side quests and serene exploration. One of the game's most captivating features is its rich tapestry of side quests and character interactions, which often become the focal point of the gameplay experience. Let's build a zoo. This is a pixel art zoo building simulator. The game's unique feature is over 500 types of animals that can be crossbred to create more than 300,000 possible combinations, such as a giraffe elephant, deer llama, or crocoduck. Meanwhile, players will need to plan the zoo's logistics, hire staff, and monitor the profitability of the enterprise, just like in a full-fledged economic simulator. From glory to goo, a sci-fi survival strategy where you need to establish a colony in orbit and on the surface of a hostile planet. The developers were clearly inspired by They Are Billions but added their own original ideas, particularly the support of an orbital fleet that can bombard xenomorphs, often saving you in critical moments. On the planet's surface, you'll build and defend your base with the help of various combat units, some of which can be unlocked through research, while others are available only to certain captains. You'll also gather valuable resources, discover remnants of previous expeditions, and encounter local aliens with whom you can either form alliances or fight. Necrosmith 2. In this sequel, the beloved concept from the first game has been expanded, making the game much more interesting. The developers carefully approached the changes, retaining most mechanics from the first game in their original form. You'll need to explore the surroundings for missing ingredients while simultaneously gathering resources to upgrade and expand your laboratories. There, you'll conduct inhumane technomagical experiments to create a legion of undead that you'll lead through various biomes in search of keys to escape this world. Crying Suns, a roguelike that combines space strategy with a deep narrative. Set in a distant future where a mighty empire has fallen and the artificial intelligences that ruled it have been shut down. The player controls a clone of an imperial general, exploring randomly generated sectors of space, fighting pirates, and uncovering the mysteries of a fallen civilization. The game promises a captivating story in a procedurally generated universe, tactical battles between squadrons of starships, and dramatic plot missions intertwined with exciting random events. Theo Town, a city-building simulator where users are invited to construct their own metropolis and do everything possible to keep its residents happy. The concept is reminiscent of the early SimCity games, which will likely appeal to old-school gamers. Despite the retro style, the game offers many features and can be engrossing for a long time. Theo Town's gameplay focuses on city planning, managing citizen satisfaction, and solving emerging problems. TFC, The Fertile Crescent, a real-time strategy game where you manage one of the ancient civilizations of the Middle East. You must fight for resources, territories, and influence. The game features various units, buildings, and technologies that reflect the historical realities of this ancient era. You'll need to form armies, fortify your settlement, and manage the economic aspects. This includes increasing the population, boosting agricultural activities, and expanding metal production. 
The main goal is to turn a primitive village into a thriving empire. Dotage. In this game, you become the elder of a village trying to save your people. According to a prophecy, a grim future awaits, and you lead a small group to an empty valley to start anew. Your task is to wisely assign roles and organize the work of the settlers. Plan the construction of dozens of buildings in a limited space, manage crops and livestock, gather resources, survive harsh conditions, and prepare for challenges in the form of difficult random events. Vertical Kingdom, an intriguing city-building card game where you face the challenge of limited land space on small islands, constructing colossal cities. Districts can hang over cliffs, creating stunning views. The focus is primarily on the happiness of citizens, which requires balancing their needs, resources, and various desires. Just when you think everything is under control, external threats may arise. Besides construction, the game offers many interesting mechanics. Lakeside, an indie city-building simulator where players create a city on a small Mediterranean island. The game combines familiar elements from other strategies, such as changing seasons and random events, with its own twist through limited building slots, requiring careful planning. Every construction has its consequences, and players must consider weather conditions, random events, and seasonal cycles, which can either benefit or harm the city. Additionally, Lakeside offers a variety of buildings, each of which can be adapted to the player's style. Songs of Conquest, a turn-based strategy game inspired by classics like Heroes of Might and Magic, but with unique mechanics and a distinctive visual style. Players control wielders who move across the map, explore the world, capture settlements, and engage in tactical battles. A key feature of the game is its magic system, based on essences that wielders collect from their armies and objects on the map. The game's story is unusual, built around four campaigns, each offering a unique perspective on the narrative. Instead of standard fantasy races, players encounter intriguing combinations. The game also includes a map editor, making it especially appealing for fans who enjoy creating their own scenarios. Kingdom Two Crowns. This is the continuation of the strategy series with a cooperative mode. The game impresses not only with its visual style and side view, but also with its gameplay, as here you literally play as a king who, riding a horse, personally oversees the construction of new cities and the expansion of his kingdom. You'll need to recruit allies, build a castle and fortifications, expand the borders of your domain, and fend off waves of enemies who want to steal all your riches. Rise to Ruins, a successful blend of a god simulator and city building. Starting with a handful of settlers in a barren land, the player must gradually create a reliable and well-protected settlement capable of safeguarding its inhabitants from the outside world. However, you'll need to worry not only about external threats, but also about internal problems. The game features a fairly high level of difficulty, several game modes, and special divine abilities that can help ease the lives of your followers a bit. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed my list of pixel art strategy games and found a new game for yourself. Let me know in the comments which of these games became your favorite or if there was a game you felt was missing from this list. See you in the next video and good luck in your strategic adventures.